Welcome to H3 News, I'm Josie Ogumua. Congratulations to our very own Bryce Eichel Krupp for being recognized as a National Merit Commended Scholar. Congratulations to Haram Yoon who has been accepted to Boston University, Binghamton University, and Pennsylvania State University. She has accepted Boston University as where she intends to major in biology on the pre-dental track. Congratulations to Carolina Compion. She has been accepted to the University of Texas at San Antonio. She plans to attend this fall and will be studying kinesiology for physical therapy and sports medicine. Congratulations to our forensics team. There were many awards given the, during the district tournament a few weeks ago. Ms. Snyder received Assistant Coach of the Year. Ms. Four received the Volunteer of the Year. Nicholas Bohr received first alternate in house. In big question debate, Zachary Bohr received first alternate and Thomas Bennett received second alternate. Teresa Lindbergh qualified for nationals in dramatic interpretation. Jonah Ainley and Valerie Schwartz received first alternate in duo interpretation. Brisa Gonzalez Fernandez received second alternate in humorous interpretation. In original oratory, Therese Mosfer qualified for nationals and Joshua Barkas received second alternate. Isabel received second alternate in POI. Valerie Schwartz qualified for nationals in United States extemporaneous speaking. Faith and practice this week. This week's virtue is foresight. On Monday, Ms. Snyder gave a faculty share. She talked about how we need to make sacrifice in order to free ourselves up for God's love. On, on Tuesday, we had PWP led by Andrew Lover. The songs we sang were Revelation Song and Warn. Yesterday it was Ask Wednesday and we had Mass at Christ the King. It was led by Father Singh. His homily was about representing our Christian faith through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Today we have Rosary. Tomorrow we will have Stations of the Cross. In upcoming events, the Finley and family is still inviting you to participate in the Penny Wars, which benefits St. Jude's. The San Antonio Spurs are hosting a Faith and Family Night with special guest Dave Robinson on March 11th and Catholic school, staff, friends, fam and family are invited to join in on the fun. Custom t-shirts will be provided as well as a post-game opportunity to chat with David Robinson. See this week's newsletter for more information and to purchase tickets. Next Friday on March 11th, all student Holy Trinity students will have our annual Lenten retreat at St. Luke's Catholic Church in Temple. More information about the retreat will be forthcoming. But this year, Holy and Trinity has invited NET Ministries to put on this retreat for our students with their team of 11 missionaries. NET is an amazing outreach of the church and we have had several HT alum serve throughout the years. Our community will be responsible for housing this team of missionaries from the night of Thursday, March 10th through the morning of Saturday, March 12th. That will mean opening your home to two to seven missionaries both Thursday and Friday nights, and providing the following meals to them. Thursday dinner, Friday breakfast, Friday dinner, and Saturday breakfast. Missionaries all have their own sleeping bags and bed rolls, so they will not need to be provided a bed. Because the retreat begins early Friday and is at St. Luke's in Temple, we are looking for some willing host families who are within 15 to 20 minutes of St. Luke's. If you are interested in housing between two to seven missionaries on these days, please contact Ms. Snyder. St. Luke's is looking for some students volunteers to help with their fish fries in the evenings on Fridays during Lent. Student volunteers will be running food back and forth between the drive through order line and the kitchen. If you are interested, please contact Ron Mosaic, who is in charge of the Knights of Columbus currently at St. Luke's and ask for more details. The annual Shred Day at Holy Trinity will be held on April 23rd from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. This is open to the residents. The limit is five banker boxes of paper only. The doors for tours of our campus for potential students will be open as well. The Spring Bazaar will be in the gym and that will be from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. In alumni news, mark your calendars for an alum reunion on May 28th here at Holy Trinity. As the details are confirmed, they will be shared. In sports news, on Tuesday there was a tennis tournament at Temple High School. Vlaki Frazier placed third in the tournament. Today there is a track meet in Holland, Texas. There is also a softball game against Riker at 4.30. Let's wish both teams good luck. This is Josie Okumi while bringing you the good news on H3 News. 
Welcome to H3 News. I'm Josie Okumiwa. <laughs> she plans to attend this fall and will be studying kinesiology.